Sustainable Diversity. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 279. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 279, July 29th, 2018 edition. One Community's mission is to bring together people with a consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and to build self replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a path to global sustainability. Also, as a path to today's topic sustainable diversity. What is sustainable diversity? Well, sustainable diversity, from our perspective, is diversity that is designed, or sustainable models designed to support the diversity of humanity around the world. And that includes diverse values, diverse goals, diverse cultures, and diverse approaches to sustainability. And so everything that you see happening in the background of the video here is our designs for that our open source and free shared tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of what we call highest good living, which covers all the foundations of a highest good civilization, a sustainable civilization, and a sustainably diverse civilization. Specifically, housing, food, energy, which are the physical foundations of sustainability, and then we're combining those with the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified as highest good education models, highest good economic models, fulfilled living models, and true earth stewardship. Putting these things together as an evolution of sustainability that is meant to be supportive of sustainable diversity. And what I mean by that is looking at the different values, the different needs, the different desires of people and trying to create something for everyone which is a very challenging thing to do when you consider the different goals of different people. Some people don't care about sustainability at all. What about them? Some people, uh, there's very different, differing, uh, there's significantly different approaches to the economic aspects of sustainability and the resources that people have for sustainability. And some people want to live in remote locations and other people can't imagine that, would prefer to stay in urban environments and are seeking a way to be sustainable within those environments. Other people don't care about sustainability at all. So how do we address this sustainable diversity? How do we create sustainable diversity? Well, our approach is to open source and free share all the different foundations that we just described, build them with a consciousness and a desire to do to the best of our ability what is for the highest good of all life and all people on the planet, and to open source and free share it so that diverse needs, diverse perspectives can use what it is that we've created and do it their own way hopefully evolving, improving it, making it better, uh, and contributing what is created back to the open source collective and collaborative to create an even broader and even larger suite of open source solutions. In the teacher demonstration community village city and hub model, the self-replicating model that we're designing, is designed to be self-replicating by making it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrates attractive enough so that it will spread on its own, but also so that it is modularly implementable, meaning that every component could be implemented as an individual component or as the complete teacher demonstration hub, and not having an ideal of us, our organization, our nonprofit organization, making sure that we, not have, that we don't have any type of ideological uh, approach or philosophy as far as how people implement what it is that we're creating. By open sourcing and free sharing it, we're designing it so that people with diversely different values and different goals can use what it is that we're creating and hopefully still be a part of taking steps in the direction of global sustainability. So our idea of sustainable diversity is to bride what we're providing, open source and free share, so that people with different values, if they want to build a community that is not focused on global change, that might be a prepper community, or it might be a community with a specific uh, religious or political or cultural value system that they want to support, our designs are designed specifically for that. And we think that's fantastic. If people want to build sustainable infrastructure and create communities that meet their values and invite other people who share their values to come and live with them, fantastic. Our model is designed to do that too. 
And our values are really clearly shared on our website. We're looking to build a sustainable community. We're looking to build an open source community. We're looking to support and demonstrate values of freedom and diversity and love and connection and contribution. And so our entire model is designed around this idea of how can we bring together people with the consciousness for the highest good of all that want to create a better world for everybody, are willing to do the time and put the time and energy and work into creating that, and let's create a place where we can live and do just that. Let's bring together people that also want to create world change and realize that it's possible within our lifetime, and let's do that. And let's open source and free share and invite hundreds, then thousands, then tens of thousands of people to visit and experience what it is that we're doing, like visiting somebody's bed and breakfast. But this is a complete eco-community that covers all aspects of sustainability, all the aspects that I've already mentioned, food, energy, housing, the physical foundations, and then those emotional foundations as well, the highest good education models, economic models, the fulfilled living models, and true earth stewardship, and inviting people to participate. So if somebody doesn't want an eco-community, Say somebody does not is not interested in that at all, maybe the education model is something that they would be interested in, or maybe one of the economic models is something that they would be interested in. It's all open source and free shared, so if there's any aspect of that that inspires people to move in the direction or to, to use something that it is that we're creating, they don't have to do it the way that we're doing it. They can do it completely different. And so this is what we see as sustainable diversity. And we see these models of creating ways for people with common sets of values and common goals to come together and be with other like-minded individuals. We see that as a real path to world change. We see it as an opportunity for transforming the planet and giving people a way to come together with like-minded individuals to live in peace and harmony and to invite others who share their views to come together and to join them as well. And then to collaborate with diverse views, diverse uh, organizations and other people that may believe completely different things but share the idea of open source, free sharing, uh, hopefully in our case at least, in the case of, uh, in our case, uh, sustainability and a desire for freedom and diversity and supporting that. But it doesn't have to be that way. Other organizations, other groups can do something entirely different. And this is our idea for sustainable diversity. So with that said, here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments. And we are an all-volunteer team. We're 100% unpaid, nonprofit organization, non-governmental organization, all volunteers creating this because we want to live this way and because we want to see world that is sustainable within our lifetime, and it is possible. So with that said, here's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of sustainable diversity. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team began testing the open source Murphy Bed Furniture assembly instructions for the back changing and storage area. We do this by building it in SketchUp 3D and noting mistakes as we go. You can see some of this work in progress here. The core team, working with Michael Hagler, senior graphic designer and artist, also completed another six pages for the Seven Villages book we're developing. You can see these finished pages here. We also updated the formatting and added the images to the Earthbag Village Pod 1, Tropical Atrium, and Duplical City Center web pages. You can see some of this work here. Also, Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, completed his 17th week leading the development of the Murphy Bed instructions. This week, Shadi added a diversity of objects to the 3D file and then created this initial mock up introduction image. Mike Kowalski, game developer, finished his 13th week helping update our renders that are too big for anything but a gaming computer. This week, Mike continued working on the Earthbag Village and created the updated renders you see here. These first two need more work, but this third one is complete and added to the site. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, continued with the Cobb Village Pod 3 render updates also. Here's update 124 of Dean's work, continuing the lighting and texturing process for the dining area looking south. Michelle Pinzaru, interior designer and architectural drafter, completed her 20th week working on the Treehouse Village Pod 7 residential renders. This week, she finished these final renders showing the residential layouts with the open floor plan. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, 
provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, the core team continued rebuilding and testing the city center geodesic dome parts in 3D. This week's focus was developing row five and fixing errors we found, which you can see here. The core team working with Dipti Dondarker, electrical engineer, also continued developing the lighting specifics for the city center. This is Dipti's 87th week volunteering on this task, and the focus this week was finalizing the social dome multicolor light graphic and the dining dome kitchen lighting tests and graphic. The core team also added these graphics to the website and redesigned the related sections of the lighting page to better organize and describe them based on which dome they are in, as shown here. Hayes Lee, structural engineer, continued work on the city center structural engineering. This week's focus was more discussing and updating the spreadsheet tabs for snow calculation and beam design and further developing the spreadsheet for wind load calculation on cupola roof. You can see some of this work here. Anvita Kumari Pandey, civil engineer, completed her 15th week helping with the duplical city center materials and costs. This week's focus was material selection for the dome structure, doors and windows, swimming pool, spa and natural pond, and basement walls. You can see some of this work here. Last but not least, Dawa Feng, civil engineer, completed his 13th week working on the fire suppression and safety systems designs for the duplical city center sprinkler and emergency systems open source hub. This week, he continued fixing details in the AutoCAD layout, redid the cupola piping, and double-checked and updated the pressure calculations for zones A, B, C, D, and F. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open-source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued writing the behind-the-scenes narrative and detailed food rollout plan for the various stages of development. This week, we identified the plant names by their Latin names using Wikipedia and provided a link to Wikipedia to directly reference and view them. We also removed about 17 pages of herb photos and summaries and placed common names, Latin names, and wiki links on page 22 and 23 of the food rollout doc. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. This week, the core team began work on the objective data and analysis page. We redid the formatting and overall outline, updated the initial graphics, and rewrote the what and why sections. We would say this brings the page to about 30% complete. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team updated our legal documents and processes page with new PDF downloads of all our trademark documents, trademark infringement letter templates, and links to the actual trademark registration documentation. You can see some examples of all this here. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards this goal of sustainable diversity and creating a world that truly works for everybody. Uh, if you'd like more details, more specifics, links, to all the open source content and resources, visit our written blog, visit our website, take a look, everything is there. If you'd like to see an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list, or you can subscribe to one of our social media channels and manage your updates that way. You can subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can join us on Facebook, LinkedIn, Tumblr, Reddit, Twitter. I mean, we are on all the different social media networks, uh, Instagram, Pinterest, about 15 others to make it as easy as possible to uh, follow our information, to share information. And uh, if you like the easiest way to help out, share information, like this video, uh, help us get the information out, go to any of our social media networks, like our posts, help us share our information on social media. All that stuff makes a big difference. 
And uh, if you've just watched the end, that also, of course, is appreciated. Uh, any donations that you made, if you're somebody who comments on our videos or has sent us suggestions, we appreciate that as well. Uh, you know, we are a nonprofit organization run by regular people uh, working hard to create a better world for everybody. And so every little bit of help, every little bit of help makes a difference. And so thank you for whatever way you've been supporting us. We do appreciate it, including if it's just watching to the end of this video. So with that said, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks.